Porn Stars are People podcast. I'm Dan Spigalette. I'm uh, here with Kenzie Taylor. Hi. Thank you for doing this episode. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. We're uh, at the Embassy Suites in Chicago. Have you ever been to this hotel? Have you ever been to this conference? Have you ever been to Chicago? All the things. I've been to Chicago. Um, I have never been to this Exotica. Oh, shit. And I've never been to this hotel. Okay. It's pretty chill so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. This is what I like about Embassy Suites is that they have this weird open area whatever you call this Mm -hmm. they have this and usually i don't know i think i think it's because like the 80s and 90s got weird but so they used to have like oh they would always have waterfalls really so there's one in or maybe it was just my town so there's one in my town it was this exact setup and they're right in the middle of this waterfall Hmm. and then we would people just go to the brunch not like didn't stay at the hotel they would just go to the brunch in that town and then they would just be underneath the waterfall it was weird it's a weird it's a weird vibe i guess i think this is what they've decided to do instead yeah the mini waterfall it's this weird cummy (laughs) waterfall on the side um, so why, so you've been to the, the other Exoticas? I've been to New Jersey Exotica. Okay. So w- how come, how come you coming this year to Chicago? How come you haven't in the past? Um, I am coming this year because I'm just trying to expand, um, things that I'm doing, sure. um, meet as many fans as I can. I yeah. love my fans. And, um, I got asked to also oh, by great. Bad Dragon. So they oh, were nice. like, Hey, will you sign in our booth? I was like. Of course. With Bad Dragon. Mm-hmm. Shout out Bad Dragon. Yeah. Uh, shout out Spunk Lube. They finally came on as a sponsor here uh, awesome. very recently. Um, good lube. It's good lube. It really is. It's good. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I just. And sorry. it doesn't taste bad either if so you get it in your mouth. Okay. I Sorry. I just started daydreaming. Uh, <laughs> every, time I, every time I pitch Spunk Lube, I start daydreaming. Uh, <laughs> that, that's all the all reminiscing from all the good times. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, what else is going on? So, you, where do you live? You're. I live in L.A. Yeah. 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 Yep, I live uh, by the beach. Have uh, how do you awesome. feel about Chicago at the moment? Um, at the moment, I haven't really left the hotel yeah. yet. I got here late last night, but um, it's pretty cold here. It's but been cold and windy and whatever. I bought whatever a cloudy. warm jacket because you know I don't have winter because LA is not cold I ever. Have, I just don't have winter. <laughs> yeah, you I'm know. like no big deal. You know how life so. is. Just I don't have winter. <laughs> That's funny. I've I've skipped winter for the last two years because I went I would go away. Uh, yeah. South Africa, where the kind of isn't winter, and then uh, actually it's b- both times South Africa. Smart. Um, yeah. So it's it's it is weird though, because I grew up in a place with all winter, so you do miss, you like, you like forget what you what like what month it is, what like what the thing. It's like, I grew up I in Michigan. Understand. Like why is where's this? But the snow been? Yeah, I grew up in Michigan, um, so I totally get that. Yeah. Literally there, it's only warm like maybe four months. Yeah, <laughs> right, because it's the same thing. It's, it's gnarly. You get all the snow, you get all the, the, the runoff from the lakes, and then also it's just always windy because mm-hmm. you're right off the all of the Great Lakes. It's like 19 Great Lakes are right there. Yep. My math is perfect on that, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, what do you do? How do you maintain sanity traveling? This is a thing that I people struggle with. L- I love to travel, actually. Um, the only anxiety i really get is the whole packing and like going to the airport making sure i get there on time and i just hate when i have like for example when i come to a convention i have more than one bag and it's hard like lugging everything around and my back is hurting yeah i have this (laughs) long-term goal of of, of traveling with no things landing and buying everything that would be amazing that's my long-term financial goal i don't care about i don't care about a maserati i just want to fly somewhere not have to bring anything. Mm-hmm. How dope would you be if you got off the plane and they're like, do you need your bag? No, no, I don't need bags. They're like, no, it's just me <laughs> and my tiny little backpack right. purse. <laughs> it's just my phone. That's all I need. Yeah. I got Amazon right here. I'm like, I'm good. I'm taking an Uber to the actually, mall right now. That actually might be the vibe <laughs> is, is if I could just Amazon everything to the place that I'm getting to. Uh, that actually could be it. I love Amazon. Actually, Amazon Prime now I'm like addicted yeah. to. Yeah. I'm really yeah. addicted to it. I'm like, oh, I need this and this and this. And then oh, I, I can get it in two hours. And cool. Here's a, did you, can you get it in two hours? Yeah, you I've can. I've never had that. You can do a two-hour window. Wow. Two to three hours. So the one that the most the one that I uh, the one that I tried recently was the locker. So it was like to, on a return, you just take it to the locker and you're hmm. done. So it's like at a it's, it was like at a Whole Foods. So just you lock it up and then and then it processes it and you're done. You don't have to ship it. Interesting. And then, um, what I keep doing is I keep doing uh, um, because they they guarantee all the shipping. Mm-hmm. And sometimes there's a mistake. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like in the zone where I just love getting on the phone with customer service. And I'm like, uh-huh. listen, you said Saturday, got here Sunday. Not nah, cool, man. Nah, <laughs> nah. And they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm, s- 
And it's the only place that's like really, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, do you want to return it? Do you want to not do we, do we discount it? And it's like, oh my God, this is great. I just. Yeah. They're like, here, you have a credit to your yeah, account. I think I haven't, I think I just <laughs> dated girls who can't apologize. So I have to call Amazon and get apologies. So I feel better about myself. <laughs> that's hilarious. I found all the girls. Who never I'm so that's sorry. My last five relationships have been like, no, no, no. It's still your fault. What? You're like, oh, what? man. I think we're at a place in society. I only date girls. So that's, so I can't say what dudes are doing, but I think we're at a place in society where nobody's apologizing anymore. Yeah, it's it's getting a little weird. You know, the weirdest thing about how things are now, and it kind of drives me a little nuts, is going to a restaurant and eating with someone and actually socializing is so difficult because everybody's like, yeah, you're just like on their phones. What was that? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I already ordered. Yeah, no, or you're, already ordered. You, like you're talking and then they'll be like, wait, what? <laughs> this is the thing that I notice a lot <laughs> is if I should have to just grab it for a second yeah. and the other person goes, okay, cool. So now I can be on my phone too. Yeah. Cause then there's like that thing. And they're like, no, 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 you picked up yours. I was like, no, no, it's my mom. I just have to tell my mom. And like, no, no, no I'm on Instagram now. It's over. <laughs> you picked they're it like, up. They're like, I'm going on IG live. You, like, pi- you picked it up. It's done. Go get your own yeah. table. Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why we do that. <laughs> I mean, I do know why we do that, but yeah, somebody, uh, somebody tweeted this the other day. They said, this is, uh, this is. This is living in the 2019s. It was like, uh, it was, it was. <laughs> you're at your, you're at your, you're at home looking at Instagram, what everybody else is doing. And then you go to the place where everybody else is, and then you stay on your phone, and then you go home, and you look at what everybody else did while you were with them. Right. That's you know what's thing. crazy too is when um, people are going to concerts, they're not really enjoying the concert because they're sitting there holding their phone you're up. Never and gonna watch that fucking video. I'm like, just watch the you're live. Never music. gonna watch that video. <laughs> right. Ever. I'll do like a few like little videos, but then I'll put my phone in Nobody's my pocket and ever just watch jam. the video that they made if they yeah. were not a professional <laughs> videographer. Like maybe to put on social media, but that's it. <laughs> as a child doing things that nobody's ever gonna see. Yeah. I, they, we probably taped over them for Top Gun. Like, it's like, <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah. Oh, good old Top Gun. Top Gun is, yeah, it's pretty Poor good. Poor Goose. Do they remake? They're remaking it. Or they did. I heard yeah. that they are, yeah. yeah. Which shall be interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you do you ever get, like, I always get, like, um, I always get upset. Like, I, 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 I'm I convinced I can play all the parts that I loved as a kid, <laughs> right? So I'm like, what? They redid Karate Kid. I could have been that guy. <laughs> like, like, what? They redid Aladdin? Are you kidding me? I'm not Indian. <laughs> I am Aladdin. I'm not Indian. I'm Give not, me a I'm little not, hat. I'm not 16 years old. Yeah, Give I'm me like, a monkey. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? They remade Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I could be him. <laughs> I don't know why that's a re- that's not a remake. That's, that's a remake of real life. I don't know why. <laughs> I really do. I really do think I could be all the parts. That's hilarious. And then now I'm mad because then because then literally I've convinced myself that because Rami Malik won the Oscar, I was like, well, that's my Oscar. Cause right. Because if, w- if they would have cast me, I, st- I would have done the exact same thing. <laughs> you like go up and do his acceptance yeah, speech. Yeah. Yeah. They're that's like, who the feel. fuck is this guy? <laughs> yeah. I wish they let me in that building. They did not do that. <laughs> the Oscars are L.A. Have you been to the Oscars? No, never. You, have you ever crashed a thing that you weren't supposed to be at? Um, I think maybe like one time. Yeah. Uh, but I don't remember it. What so. was what was the thing? Um, just like an after party. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah. Like, oh, I can get in. Yeah. I'm, it's I'm it's so easy being a girl. Yeah. Like with big yeah. boobs. It's yeah. like oh my god. What? Hi. What's in here? Yeah. No, no, come on in. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't happen to dudes. I used to have this recurring thing where if I showed up, I I go most places alone. So if I show up someplace alone. Uh, I'll either get denied or like um, be convinced that there's some sort of fake cover. I've paid mm. fake cover so many times. Yeah. I went to go see these girls in New York once, and I was dating this chick, and uh, and I go in, and they charge me cover, and the vibe felt weird. It didn't feel real. It, and so I got in, and then I was like, I was in there like 20 minutes, and I was like, started like looking at when people were coming in and coming out, and I was like, hey, did they charge you guys cover? And they're like, there's no cover. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> oh, they got me a gun. <laughs> Damn fake it! Fake cover. <laughs> I almost, I almost charged fake cover once. I was like, y- "Have you ever been to a bar and you're just being, you're just being like, I don't want to be here." Yeah, that's how I am now because oh. <laughs> I'm sober. So yeah. it's I'm, not fun. I don't want to say it's not fun because some of them are like yeah. they have pool tables and darts yeah. and all that stuff. It's even though I suck like at both, fun, but yeah. yeah, I'm just like over here like. <laughs> Drinking yeah. Shirley Temples. Right, right, right. I still drink like an alcoholic, yeah, just I not do, alcohol. <laughs> I do, uh, yeah, I do. Th- my, my, my undercover drink is um, club soda and bitters because it looks like mm. something. 
Yeah, I, I do ginger ale and I'll have them put two limes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like some shit's going down. Some shit's going down right now. Yo, I'm, go, I'm going in right now. Yeah, I'm hell. Going in. <laughs> no, I, uh, so I'm at the corner. I'm like, for some reason, I'm sitting in a chair that's nowhere near the bar because I don't mm-hmm. want to hang out with anybody. I'm being like, I don't want to be here. And I'm at the front and I'm just sitting at this door and then somebody walks in. They start giving me their ID. And I was like, what? No. And I, so it, rather than be cool, because I was so no, I was just, so, just uh, being such a baby. I don't You're know like, the I'm the was. bouncer. Yeah, I should have done that. But instead, I should have been like, yeah, yeah, 20 bucks. But instead, I was like, I'm not the bouncer. Who are you? know, and I yeah. like, such a, and then <laughs> later. Do I look like I work here? Yeah, and then later you get the good idea and you're like, ah, if only I was smart immediately. <laughs> not 20 minutes later. <laughs> you I'm probably so wouldn't regret it smart. the next day, though. No, I'm so smart 20 minutes later. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the smartest 20 minutes later. <laughs> Always. <laughs> that's ah, <what> <laughs> that's what I should have said in the fight. Ah, damn. damn it. That's why I'm always wrong. Not what I said. <laughs> not the dumb thing I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at fighting. I, I, yeah, I get I get I get confused. Yeah. I get confused very easily when I'm fighting. I'll say like the wrong words. And I'm like, I didn't mean that. You get like tongue tied. Yeah, because you're yeah, I'm in the <laughs> emotion. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, what? And it's like, yeah. I'll sometimes say. I've been I don't know if you've ever been, but sometimes I've been like in an argument and <laughs> with mainly with my significant other. Yeah. And I'll be talking and I'll notice that I'm just arguing or saying the most ridiculous yeah. shit and I'll just laugh at myself yeah. and then end it. Yeah. You can't. So that works. Because <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm cl- I, that's I all I, right that's the only relationship I want to be in is yeah. that somebody can like, can like get that they're being ridiculous. Yeah. And like back <laughs> off. But I've never been able to do that. Like, it, like I'll start laughing in the middle of the argument. Yeah. And I laugh. <laughs> I have kind of, kind of a feminine laugh. So I have like a, this kind of a girlish giggle. And so then I know I've lost the fight at that point. Like, <laughs> right. It's like whatever it is. Yeah, like and the giggle not, came out. And it's, not even that, <laughs> and it's not even that the fight gets reversed or that the fight gets null and void. It's just that I lose the fight now mm-hmm. uh, which I, at, at my age I don't want to be in any fights anymore I was in a fight I was in a six hour fight the other day oh, uh, about that's exhausting. Uh, about Tyga and and Kylie really yeah Kylie and Tyga I don't even want to get into the details actually it, but like it, this but I thought the fight was over and then I like went to get my hair cut and then I got a text message that like relaunched the fight and I was like what I thought they were or I thought she was with Travis they're Scott. way long gone but but he was with so then now I'm in the fight so <laughs> So Tyga hooked up with Kylie when she was like 14 or 15. Oh, wow. So my contention was, yeah, just don't fuck that girl. Mm-hmm. It's easy not to fuck that girl. Yeah. And so then the girl that I was fighting with was, was, was first like defending Tyga. And then she switched it on me where she was like, no, a woman gets to choose. And it's like, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. A woman could choose. But Tyga should have not done it. Or it's like, even if he like, even if a woman gets to choose and Tyga did it, it's fine. But then we still have to go. It's illegal. Yeah. So then now she's debating. She's from Australia. She's debating state laws now with me, mm-hmm. and how states shouldn't be able to make laws. So like, this is the fight I'm in. That it I don't want to like be a in. Whole, like, I don't. It care turned about into Kylie. like a political debate. I don't care about Tyga. <laughs> you guys were at your own podium. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, no, we're yeah. She. I. So I think. She, well, I think she was trying to. This is what I've decided. She was trying to convince me that we didn't work. Hmm. So she just kept being in this fight. I was like, I still want to be in this fight. Can we not be in this fight? Yeah, and I, and I wasn't allowed. Easy, it was like an easy way out or something. I was not allowed. I tried yeah. to pivot m- multiple times. It didn't <laughs> did not work. So you like traveling? It's uh, but now you're now you have too much shit. So we only here for three days. Are you? Yeah. How many outfits have you packed? Are you? You're like I pack, Rihanna. I you always like pack nine outfits. <laughs> I always pack a f- quite a few yeah. because I'm a person where I'm like I would rather have too much than sure. too little. Sure. And, um, but yeah, I, br- I bring quite a few outfits because sometimes, like, one I thought was going to look hot, I put it on, and I'm like, ugh. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's day by day. That's why I've become a cartoon character. This, is a th- this isn't going to work for you, uh, mm-hmm. but I'm going to tell you my theory anyway. <laughs> um, I just wear the same shit every day. I b- it's clean. You're like Rick and Morty. Yeah. I, bought, I just <laughs> buy 50 the same thing. And I just wear it. And then if it gets a stain or it gets too dirty, I chuck it and it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I just wear, I basically just wear this color or black v necks That's it. Hmm. So I wear this all day and then I'll get to the show. I'm a comedian. I get to the yeah. show with the black one on because uh-huh. it looks good on stage with the thing and my color and all the yeah. things. Black one's on, done. Yeah. That's it. I don't have it's, to think about it. It's funny. My boyfriend's the same. Like he'll wear v necks yeah. like that, but just white. Yeah. That's I used his to. Favorite. I can't wear white. Yeah. I can't. I'm Italian. I get dirty. Yeah. Um, I used to think. <laughs> you I used get sauce all over it. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no matter. Uh, I. It's like I could have been doing nothing. Could have been doing this, and then I'll, like if I wear khaki pants, I'll be sitting here, and then I'll get up and I'll be like, "What the fuck happened?" Yeah. Just everything everywhere. I'm <laughs> You're not like, a clean did I person. shit my pants? Yeah. What <laughs> happened? How did this happen? <laughs> all of a sudden, I got pee. I was like, I'm 36 <laughs> years old. I'm not peeing on myself. How is this a thing? Now? <laughs> Just because I'm wearing khaki pants, I gotta get a little <laughs> drop of pee on myself. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not good. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so so basically, it's 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 a it's a nice. It, all it does is it takes the stress out. Yeah. You go. What am I going to wear today? That. Yeah, I'll usually. I'm, you know, I'm a chick, so usually yeah. I'll try. Whoa, wait. Try a few things wait. on. Yeah. You're a chick. Wait. I'm a chick, but like I'm Whoa. a big tomboy. Are you? Yeah. So, it's actually really hard for me when I get like all dressed up and stuff. Like yeah. I like it and I feel very pretty. Yeah. But I so badly would love to go sign in my sweatsuit yeah. I'm wearing yeah. right now and my Uggs. Yeah. But so no one would. It's yeah. weird. Nobody would be like, ah. Oh, no, they'd be yeah, into it. No, I, they'd be into I, it. I like her over there, and then no, you, they'd be into it. I promise they'd be into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I don't sitting know. next to you. You're wearing the sweats. I feel pretty good. <laughs> the um, well, that's, I do that thing too. So like, I'll do uh, like I like to get invited to weddings so that I can wear the 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 outfit, but I got like a t- two hours. Yeah, is how long I want to be in the outfit. Yeah, and then you go to the bathroom and change. I make sure the <laughs> pictures are happening. Yeah, I get in all the pictures. Uh huh. So that I know that I got this picture somewhere with this tie and this thing and this Dancing outfit. Dancing with the groom. Yeah. And then immediately, <laughs> as soon as I have the opportunity, I'm in something else. Yeah. Like I can't. I just get like on the neck. Yeah. It's like pull on your yeah. neck. It's, uh, the things. Really tight. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Nah. That's kind of how I feel. Um, like AVN. Yeah. And when I wear like the gowns and yeah. stuff, I'm like. <gasps> Right, you got you got like a off. one hour window. Yeah, I'm like, okay, all the red carpet photos, <laughs> the show's <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put uh, my Converse on yeah. and something comfortable. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, that's uh, that's why people are getting smart. At the last like four weddings that I went to, they had like that second outfit. Yeah, there's like a there's like a there's like a a, a, a half gown. Yeah, that doesn't have all the runner shit on it. Yeah, the and train the guy, and stuff. Yeah, and the guy comes out and like <laughs> the runner. And the yeah, what do you call you got a train? A know. train, yeah. I think that sounds way worse. <laughs> I think that sounds way worse. Well, she's got a train, <laughs> got a train behind her. And then what's then? This is the veil. Do people um, still yes. wear veils? Um, some do, but some of yeah. Was the last time you went to a wedding? Um, like eight. Eight no, or nine really? years ago, really? yeah, wow. it was a really long time ago. Everybody's done with the weddings now. How many? I I feel like we should. I feel like we should go to divorces, right? I feel like it should There's be the so same, many. if not better, of a celebration. There's so many. Because how many people go to the wedding, <laughs> and they're like, these people are not gonna make it. Right? This is gonna be terrible. <laughs> right? But we celebrate anyway. Yeah. Right? But what happened? And then we should go to the divorce, and and both sides of the family should be there. Yeah. And, and then like, if you want to fist fight, you can. You. But you party and party. Yeah. <laughs> Two different. I've rooms always parties. hated your son. He's a piece <laughs> of shit. He did exactly what we knew he was gonna do. No worries. Shots. I told yeah, my I, daughter I'll pay her not to do it. Yeah. How much better <laughs> would divorces be if we could all just take shots with both sides of the family? <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm selling this idea. (laughs) You're going to make like a Craigslist ad. Yeah, divorce ceremony. Did you just get a divorce? Please contact me. I'm not a lawyer. Divorce party. I'm not a lawyer. We're just doing a party. (laughs) This is great. I like that. No legal advice will be given. None. We don't care what happens to your shit. Matter of fact, (laughs) bring your shit. We'll burn it in the front lawn of the party. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. This is fun. You'd have a pretty black yard then. Divorce bonfire. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with doing With all this. the fires. Yeah. Unless black you it. have like a big pit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the logistics of fires, okay? You, you've, you've taken it to one step too far. I'm really, okay, okay so I've, the town I'm from in Michigan, yeah. I'm really country. So I grew up on like a dirt road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cow so shit you know on the road. Yeah, so there. this is the type of bonfire we have. You get an old bathtub. No dig shit. a huge hole, put the old bathtub Porcelain in bathtub, it. Porcelain bathtub, yeah. Yeah. Like the cast iron ones. That's what it is, cast iron. Yeah, so you put that in the ground and then, you know, put the, the dirt and stuff back around yeah. it. Yeah. And then this you use, brilliant. yeah, you use that for your bonfire yeah. pit. And then you oh can shit. build a little. You, you can do the teepee because it'll hold it up even. Yeah. And oh, you can fantastic. build a, like a, basically a pipe that has like a cable that will swing over and that you can have a grill on it. You're like the actual you're a genius. Part. Yeah, you're literally a genius. No, that's th- the way I grew up. No, no, not, <laughs> I don't even. This is like, so here's a bonfire in central New York. People just go steal pallets from the grocery store. <laughs> they stack nine pallets on each other. They douse it in gasoline, and somebody <laughs> yeah. throws a match. Of and, course. And then, and then, like for some reason, they give children handfuls of of popcorn. Oh wow! That they throw into the fire. Oh wow! Yeah. Nice. And then it just goes up and out. It's not. <laughs> Yeah, no, yours Good is parenting. way better. Yours is way better. <laughs> yeah. No children super, in Central New York have eyebrows. That's what's happening. That's uh, so funny. So, yeah, it's a bathtub bonfire grilling. Yeah. This is like, 
This is what I want. <laughs> this is what I want out of the world. Goals. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so cool. So uh, I didn't realize. So I got here a day, a day too early, and I have to leave. I have to go. To, I have to go away tomorrow. So what's oh, okay. um, what is your what's your schedule at the conference? What are you? What are you? With um, Bad Dragon. Yep, I'm with Bad Dragon. I signed tonight from uh, six to eleven. Yeah. And then tomorrow, two to eight. Okay. And then Sunday is. Uh, I think one or two until five thirty. And so what and you said, so with Bad Dragon, it's like a whole, it's a whole setup of girls. Yeah, it's a pretty big booth, and, and you know, it's all like top-notch chicks. Nice, they're and all beautiful. So you don't have your own, you don't have your own little like hostess stand set up like the other things. Oh well, they all have. We're all gonna have like our own like oh, you do. table things. Got yeah, it. and then our banners. Cool, and cool, stuff cool. Like so that. you get your own individual line. Yeah. Oh, yep. that's cool. Yeah, and then uh, they and they made one of those pull out. What do they call that? Um, I, yeah, I, that's another thing. Like what traveling, it's yeah. a banner. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, bringing that is it's such. It's metal. It sucks so bad because you can't check it under the plane because it can break easily. Uh, right. So you have to carry it and right, put it they don't above give a the thing. Fuck about what happens underneath the plane. <sighs> it's such a bitch to so carry. Just chuck it in. I hit people all the time yeah. in the airport with it, and they're like, "Excuse me." <laughs> I'm like, "Excuse you should, me." You should open <laughs> it up and go, "Excuse me." Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who I oh am? Oh, my God. I have a funny story. Do you know who I am? So on the way here, right, yep. yesterday, TSA, they checked my, like, carry-on. Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, we need to look inside. And it had all my DVDs, my yeah. 8x10s. Right. That's all it's A in sex it. toy. Yeah. yeah. So the lady pulls out, because I have, look at this big folder with all my photos. Yeah. Pulls out all the photos. And that. I was like, it's just photos. Yeah. And she's like... Yeah, but I need to look. I was like, okay. Yeah. She's literally going like this individually through them, and like nudes, nudes, yeah. nudes, spread, yeah. topless, yeah. nudes. <laughs> What's what does she think she's looking for? I don't know, but I was at. I think she's it a got fan. to yeah, it I got to a certain fan. point where I was just like, okay, like. There's a puddle underneath yeah. you, ma'am. What yeah. What's happened? What have you done? <laughs> and then like another guy came over. It was the funniest yeah. shit. Yeah. And then she's like, puts it back in. She's like, okay, you're good. <laughs> I swear to God, she didn't even check anything else. It was That's crazy. That's all I would do if I was a TSA agent. Is yeah. I would is I would just go through people's nudes if I had the opportunity. <laughs> that would be. What it I'd always do. happens to me though. Usually when I have butt plugs. Yeah. If I'm going to shoot um, out of town yeah. for an anal scene, usually like L. A. to Vegas. Do you, now, and I'll have a bunch of butt plugs. Can I ask you, do you like so like w- with microphones, you put them in these cases and they they have them, they, and they go in like little slots. <laughs> do you just have them loose in the bags, or do you I have like the, the little slots? For so them? I'm really weird and organized, yeah. and I have Ziploc like, bags. Okay. And each of them have their own Ziploc yeah, bag, yeah, yeah. and then there, I usually have like a bigger bag that I got from Brazzers that has a drawstring, yeah. and I'll put all the Ziploc oh, bags in it. But it's still kind of like chunks around. Yeah, we should get you a thing. So where they just, see where all they that. Just, yeah, where we just have slot, where we just have yeah. slots like ammunition. You should invent that. Do you know, like, do you know, like, like when in every spy movie when the thing's yeah. up and the gun has the hole? Yeah. We need that for the butt plug. I know, right? You so should bloop, invent that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You'd make a lot of and money. It's done. I just pop them out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I well then, ha- well then, my life would have to be that I sat home and and uh, and individually carved out the shapes of butt, the the, the <laughs> inverse shapes of butt plugs, and I just don't think I want that. There's life. a lot. Yeah. I don't think I want that life. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and if you had to do like anal beads and stuff, it's yeah, it's very yeah. That'd be a long case. Yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's better than them rolling around all over the place. Yeah, right? just true. Kicking, kicking, kicking around. Because <laughs> uh, wh- I don't know what's the what's the butt plug game. Butt plug game is mostly like metal, or is that just in my um, dreams? No, metal. Um, my favorite is actually the silicone ones. Sure. Because they don't hurt. Okay. Sometimes the metal ones, um, if you don't lube them up good enough, yeah. they can have little dry spots. And when no you shit. go to put it in your ass, it can actually tear your ass. I love that this was the yeah. conversation. Hap- I haven't seen a child yet on this, in this thing. And this was the child. Oh, this and the they just walked yeah, by, yeah. yeah. With, the, with the whole group of yeah, kids. Yeah, I was surprised that I seen a few kids here. Yeah. I'm like, it's mainly porn stars here. So yeah, they're going to see and hear th- a lot of stuff. Well, this is what I heard happen in Denver <laughs> was that it was in the sa- the hotel and the thing were the uh-huh. same. And they didn't really like alert people that this would be happening. Yeah. So people's kids were around. Everybody's walking around G-strings. So like people got upset yeah. in Denver yeah. uh, about the convention. So, uh, I mean, they're going to hear stuff too. Because yeah. I, mean, I mean, last night i couldn't really get a lot of sleep because my neighbor they were fucking so loud yeah. and crazy the bed was slamming yeah. on the wall for like do two hours do you think they were shooting or do you think these were just i two don't horny know people? they were really loud so yeah. i i don't know you just didn't knock and be like she hey, was getting some good dick she mm. was literally like screaming and howling yeah you gotta so. knock and be like hey do you need any help yeah i got you, I got you. yeah right I got you let me get you on in there do you need a spotter <laughs> 
Gotcha. I, I'm like giving the guy Gatorade and wiping yeah. his head off. Right, right. right. <laughs> Go. Yeah, you're squirting the, the yeah. bottle in his mouth. You're rubbing Go Vaseline team. on his eyebrows. Spanking you know his I mean? ass. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Tape, retaping his fists. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, uh. the guys up front, yeah, there was uh, the other thing that happened here, I guess, was a musical conference. It looked like they did like some kind of quartet thing here. Oh, yeah. Earlier, yeah. Interesting. So, like, yeah, so they're still here. So I went and stole coffee from the from the musicians. Oh, cool. So I do have the thing. So I, I, I do have a small piece of me that like looks like I'm supposed to be places. Yeah. So like I, I do a lot of times get this thing where I go somewhere and then people like uh, think that I work there or I belong there. People ask me for directions a lot. So I use it to my advantage. I don't have I don't have you know, I don't, I'm not blonde with boobs, like you said, but I your business in the front party in the back. <laughs> I don't even know how that's related, but I'll take all of those <laughs> things. Um, but, but yeah, so I, <laughs> I so seen yeah, I seen your ass swing. Oh, you're shit. like, oh, where do you want to sit? I was like, that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, damn, it's just bad posture. Really. <laughs> um, no. So, yeah. So, the, uh, so, I, so uh, I, I, this happened to me the other day. I was like, I was at like a Target or something. I'm wearing, I'm just like this. This mm-hmm. is the only outfit I own. So I'm just like this at Target and I'm just like kind of looking around. And, out, and somebody goes, hey, can you tell me where the wood? I, I was like, I don't fucking wear. Uh, I'm not wearing red. I that drives me crazy. But that happens I, to me a lot, actually. Yeah? And I'll have like a cart and everything. Yeah. And I'm like. I'm, I don't well, know. Well, I think they're just trying to fuck you. I think that's what that is. Oh, well, it happened me, to me the other day, actually, at Whole Foods. Yeah. Um, I was in the aisle with, like, the vitamins and because um, I was getting some keto stuff to put in my yeah. coffee. Are you keto? I did, did you do it the for bulletproof coffee? I did it for a while, but, yeah, the bulletproof coffee. Yeah, so nice. good. But um, there was this old guy, maybe, like, 60, 70, yeah. 80. I don't in know. His, uh, in his sweatpants. I mean, basically, yeah. he he came up to me and he's like, "Hey, do you know anything about this stuff?" And I was ex- explaining it to him, and he's like, "I actually just came over because hey, you're so you. yeah." He's <laughs> like, "He's like, you're so beautiful." I'm just a creepy old what man. What are you doing here? I was like, uh, "Grocery <laughs> shopping." <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You're too pretty. He asked to be me out if I needed public. help and stuff. Yeah. I was like, I'm good. And Did then he followed me around like two aisles. He asked you for if you needed help and then yeah. followed you anyway. Yeah. No, 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 I'm good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to follow you for And a then I went bit, back over to case. the other side, even though I was done on that yeah. side. Just to check. <laughs> just to like just to make go sure. around until he left. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> lap him weird. off. If he's an old man, you can lap him off. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, that's how you that's how you do it. I should have been like, um, I actually am a serial killer and I really I mean, if you keep talking to me, I might wear your skin. So, I think he'd be into it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Right? Yeah, I think I He's think like, most oh my of God, us. You're gonna wear me? Yeah, I think most of us would <laughs> let you kill us as long as it meant you touched us. I think that's where I think that's where most dudes are at. <laughs> up to for being. I honest. need to think of something really creepy to say to people because yeah. sometimes it's like you just gotta pretend you're a dude. I that's appreciate compliments. Yeah. I really do, and I appreciate when people are kind. Yeah. But what I don't appreciate is when people come up and they're like. Just really, really creepy yeah. or overboard. Yeah, it's just like too much. I think. I think. I think. Like just talk I'm to me. De- like I'm gonna defend. <laughs> I'm gonna defend creepy dudes for half a second. And yeah, then, and then I'll stop. But I think what <laughs> happens is sometimes we have a thing in our head. Yeah, and then we get up and we just fuck it up. Yeah, we yeah. We just botch it. It's like that scene from Dumb and Dumber. Where he's like, I desperately want to make love to a schoolboy. Like, what? <laughs> I that's that hilarious. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, but then there are creepy people, so mm-hmm. I can't I can't take it all away. But yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know what I should what I should have done at Target was when that guy asked me to work there, I should have charged him twenty bucks. That's what I should have done. Right. I think twenty maybe, minutes later. I think maybe too when they when the fan like fans or whoever come up to me, it's like they're they're probably playing like how I am in film right. and my porn right. in their head. Right. And once they get up to me, they're just like. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, huh? I did that once <laughs> with a comedian. As a comedian, as a young comedian, I bumped into Zach Galifianakis. It was right when the movie oh, came out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he also had, and I didn't want, so in my head, I was like, I don't want him to think that I only like him for the movie. I want him to know that I like him for a special that he did, his hour special that he did for like four years before that. Uh-huh. So I just went up and I just started doing his bit to him, which is not what you should do. Ever, yeah. To anybody. <laughs> and he was like, all right, man. And then he just sort of like creepily walked away. And I was like, oh, I fucked this up a lot right did you so ever I, see him again no so i feel like that's what happens <laughs> oh, man. i feel like that's what happens to a lot of dudes when they try to talk to these girls yeah um kind of like starstruck yeah so if you bit. do if you do go to exotic or avian or anything things just be a pe- just be a human just yeah just be really nice like i i love just when people, people come up to me and they're like what's up yeah just be you're a- you're hot and i'm like awesome sure, where yeah. are you from like just talk yeah <laughs> that's actually that's actually the that's good advice i i went i did 
I, I went to Pride in, um, as a straight man, I went to Pride in, in South Africa just oh, to see what the vibe Pride. was. And I don't know if it's like this. I feel like it's very different because I've because I've been grabbed and groped in the U.S. and in yeah. New York and all these things. But in South Africa, I was feeling myself and like I, everything was going good. I was like I was like heavy keto at the moment. My back wasn't all jacked up like it is today. <laughs> and I fucking I just I took my shirt off. I was like yeah. I was bit by myself. I was like took my shirt off. I was like yeah. Oh, you like, probably got out there. I was, checked no, no, right out. No, didn't you? literally, people just came <laughs> up and they're like, I just want to let you know that you have a beautiful body. And I was like, Aww. oh my god, thank you. And yeah. they just walked away. That was it. There was That's no nobody awesome. tried to grab me. Nobody tried to like uh, grab my dick. Nobody tried to do anything to That's me awesome. it was beautiful i was like yeah this is a this is a fantastic uh, you're like i'm so comfortable why is this not what it is everywhere <laughs> right yeah. that's yeah. why i love um going to like gay bars and Dream. stuff yeah it's it's for just you. such a chill fun not environment good for me. it's good for you yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's like, hey, uh, like the gay dudes. Can I buy you a drink and take you home? Yeah, gay dudes do this thing where they try to convince <laughs> you that it's cool if you blow them. Yeah, there's and a glory like, no, hole man, in the I'm bathroom. I'm cool, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. No, let's just be chill. Like this is be fine. <laughs> like I'm fine to be here and not get blown. Let's both be fine with that. <laughs> But it is. It's this weird vibe. Like, no, no, no I, just, I think you'll really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. That's. They I mean, that <laughs> might be true. They try to talk you into it. But I'm also not gonna do that. You're like, do you see my hand? Yeah. It's it, really good. Yeah. I don't want to cheat on my yeah. hand. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. But also, like, if you're, I don't know. There's, none, there's no there's no proper response to any of this. It's like, because <laughs> yeah. it is like if, like, if you're so willing to do it, then, like, I can just find someone I'm actually attracted to that'll do it, too. Yeah. Why would that be hard? Right. Right. It's, I'm not, like, it's like, if you think that I'm hot and you want to blow me, why would I be hard up? Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the vibe. But no, that's a safe zone for girls. It's it's so. Th- I used to have this uh, this joke about uh, gay bars. I I got like I was at a gay bar with a girl that I was hanging out with, and like we kind of got like coerced into like hooking up at the bar. Really? Yeah, yeah I was like fingering this gr- full on fingering this girl at the gay bar, and everybody was feeling it at the bar. Yeah, yeah. and then so wow, that's when I realized, like, I've you, never even done that. Yeah, well, that's when I realized if you did that at a straight bar, you get kicked out immediately. I did suck a dick though in like the nastiest shithole bar ever. What city? L.A. Okay. Yeah. Recently. Um, it was actually my boyfriend's dick. Was it a worth on so our a worth first date? date. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was uh, the grossest bar ever. And Straight like bar. just gross. Yeah. But nobody's nobody was anybody watching? Um, I think there were several people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was good though. Yeah, so dive bar <laughs> dive bar wise, I think you can get away with it. But like Yeah. Classy bar, straight bar. They're not going to let you do it. Gay yeah, bars, the, the valet. Goes. Yeah, the valet would probably come over. Valet is getting kind of strict at places. Um, a little bit. I'm like, chill out. With the the car. Yeah, like recently, um, the valet at the Palms in Vegas. Yeah. They were like really rude and just no crazy. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe life's going too good for a valet. Yeah. At this point. Too much tipping. They're like, I happening. don't even need you. No, I I already <laughs> have, uh, for some reason, I, I'm like at odds with every bouncer I've ever met. So already I can't try to like finger somebody or get blown at a club. Because <laughs> I, thro- I got thrown out of a bar once just for being in there. Like this guy, kept, this bouncer kept walking around, stepping on my foot. And then I was like trying uh, to tell my buddies. And I was like, dude, this guy's fuck with me. I don't know what to do. Like yeah. what the fuck's happening? And they're like, oh, no, no, he's not, man. So I was like, fuck it. So I started stealing silverware because I thought this was like the next vibe. <laughs> So then, so then uh, I was like, You're stealing. Gonna, like shank somebody. No, I was just stealing like spoons and <laughs> shit. So then when he came, so then I had a spoon, I had, I had a pocket full of spoons, and then he came around and he saw me stealing one of the spoons. Then he went to, th- he went to like, uh, he went to like come at me. So I just took, a, I just took a handful of spoons. I threw them on the ground like, uh, like jacks, <laughs> and in my head. He he's gonna, gonna he's gonna, gonna like fall. fall yeah, him, he's right? gonna fall. Yeah, and that's not what happened. He just he literally just picked me up above his head and threw me out of the bar. Yeah, right. he literally like went, <laughs> yeah. kicked the spoons to the side yeah. and was like, "You fucking weirdo." But he already had a problem. He's like, uh, <laughs> he like, uh, he like tried to fold my ID in half when I was walking. I just, oh, it's not good. Yeah, it's not cool. It's a weird vibe. All right, so you're. Did I ask you how long you're in Chicago? You're through Monday. I'm here to Sunday. Um, and then you're, so you're not even gonna see the city. You're just gonna bounce. No. Yeah. Peace, Chicago. Bounce. Deuces. But yeah, anybody that wants to, I don't know if this is live. No, but it'll be it'll be four weeks, which is. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, well, I was going to say come see thing. me, but. Yeah, well, the next one. NVM. Because you'll be at, you'll be in New Jersey. Uh-huh. Are you going to Miami? Do you know yet? No. You going to Portland? It's Pass- close enough. Possible. It's close enough. So look, yeah. heads up for potential Portland. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's hard to say. Potential Portland. Potential Portland. Definite yeah, exotica. Yep. Um, cool. Well, uh, what about what about all the stuff that happens in Miami? Mm, I, don't I don't know. There's like 14 of them. 
Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Check her out. What? How do they follow you? How do they look up your stuff? How do they pay for your porn? All that stuff. How do they follow you? <laughs> my Instagram and my Twitter are both at the Kenzie Taylor. It's T H E K E N Z I E T A Y L O R. And uh, I have really good content. Onlyfans.com slash Kenzie Taylor. Uh, you can text me using the website address sextkenzie.com. Yeah. Why did you lose steam there? <laughs> because <laughs> I just wanted to say it slow because <laughs> my accent comes out when I say certain words. Which accent? My Michigan From accent. Michigan. What's the Michigan accent sound like? I don't know. I say certain words weird. Okay. Which one? Uh, what's the weirdest one? Uh, okay. Hacky. Hacky? Hacky. That's hockey. <laughs> hacky is hockey? Oh, wow. Or apple. Apple. <laughs> okay, so here's what I, yeah, so uh, upstate, like, like okay, so that's how Syracuse is, too. Anything, yeah. I, th- I think I'm deciding it's anything near the Great Lakes. So in Syracuse, the letter A goes mm-hmm. on forever. Yeah. So I'm I'm Daniel, so, so in high school I was Dan. <laughs> The A is like 14 minutes long. Well, you know, it was really hard for me. So I just uh, <coughs> I just auditioned for um, Captain Marvel and I, cool. I ended up getting the part. But um, when I was doing the audition, you know, Captain Marvel, her name's Carol Danvers. But yeah. I had to literally practice over 100 times saying that name. Saying her name. Yeah, the first name. I'm because Carol Danvers. When I say that how i w- how it comes out naturally it. it's carol carol yeah carol <laughs> wait so you're carol danvers in a in a in a porn spoof of it Is that yeah what you're oh, so this gonna um this is gonna ruin. it's gonna be filmed in july and august this is gonna ruin and captain marvel for me yeah she was like she was i'm moderately the lead hot. she's moderately hot but this is gonna take it to like <sighs> a, 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 an extreme level i'm so sorry but um yeah it's gonna be awesome it's a uh, axel bronze Triple X parody, Captain Marvel. Who's playing um, uh, 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 Fury? Um, we're not sure right. yet, okay. actually. Uh, everyone else is uh, working on sending in their, their auditions. Okay. And I'm so not I'm a, the I'm first I'm announcement. Not a, I'm not a six foot three, 45 year old black man, so it's not, <laughs> it's not me, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work out. <laughs> but next time. Who knows? Maybe they'll do like a younger version. Just a younger white version with hair? Yeah. Mm. No, he is the younger version in the movie, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So. so you're in good shape. Yeah. So that's cool. All right. Well, cool. Um, check out all of her things. Uh, Kenzie Taylor, the Kenzie Taylor on all the stuff. Pay for your porn. Uh, Spunk Lube. Um, what's the one uh, that you're who you're Bad Dragon. For? Bad Dragon. Uh, this is I the think it's BadDragonToys.com. If Bad I Dragon remember Toys. correctly. Uh, yeah. We're at Exotica. Check out all the Exoticas all throughout the country. Uh, this is the Porn Stars People podcast. We drop a new episode every Sunday. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. Whatever platform you're on, we're on the other one. Um, we're on a thing called Podbean, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and we drop a new episode every Sunday. I think I said that. And we're, we got some content here today from YouTube. So uh, if you enjoyed listening, you can also watch us uh, talk to each other. So there's special we did, we did shout did. out. I have a special yeah, shout out. Yeah. Star Factory PR and oh, OC yeah. Modeling. What up? Oh, yeah. Tanya Tate, baby. <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, setting up the interview. Yeah. Uh, and thank then you. and then sh- and show her all your love, and then tell her who else I should interview. Uh, yeah. Just a fucking collaboration. <laughs> for sure. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Thank you. And thank you to my guest. Bye.